Dolls is Shampoo from Shibuya here and got my new setup here see how it goes uh, so what I want to show you guys today is King Ghidorah and I'm not talking about the Godzilla enemy I'm talking about Japanese hip-hop um, King Ghidorah is probably one of the to me is one of my favorite Japanese hip-hop groups um, started out back in the 90s they only had two albums um, but they have Member, they have three members in King Ghidorah. So they have Zebra, which some of you may know if you're into Japanese music. He features on a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of people kind of think of him as like the Japanese DMX, just because of how deep his voice is. Um, it's K-Dub Shine, which is my favorite. Awesome guy. And then their DJ, which is DJ Oasis. So three members in King Ghidorah. And I actually had the opportunity to go to their live show uh, this past year, so in 2015, I went to one of the biggest Japanese hip-hop concerts in Japan. It's called Summer Bomb. So I got my Summer Bomb shirt on today, rocking it. Um, so I went to Summer Bomb in 2014, and I also went to it in 2015. 2016, I'll see if I have time in my schedule to go to it. But uh, first, today I just wanted to talk about King Ghidorah, because they're just so awesome. And, you know, enough talking, let's just check out a clip right now that I took at the concert. And uh, we'll catch you back after that. Hey, yo, Uzi! Right, so I just checked out two clips that I had, uh, two songs from King Ghidorah. First one was Heisei Ishin, second one was uh, Mima Waso. So Heisei Ishin is off their second album, uh, that I think came out in like 2001. And uh, Mimo Aso is off their first album that came out in 95. Um, so they're pretty short clips. I'm sorry, I tried to get more video, but in Japan, taking any kind of video on your cell phone at like a live show or anything is a no-go. So I was lucky to, to just get the short clips that I did. Um, but Summer Bomb was a lot of fun. Went with Mrs. Shampoo, enjoyed ourselves. Um, it's one of the biggest hip-hop shows in Japan, like I was saying. The show itself is just like four hours long so it's not just King Ghidorah it has Rhymestar, it has Aklo, it has a bunch of different hip-hop artists in Japan that come and uh, go on the show um, so for the event it's four hour show I didn't stay the whole four hours um, I knew I wanted to see Rhymestar and I knew I wanted to see uh, King Ghidorah because they're my favorite um, so I stayed for the first two hours you know so half the show I stayed and it was a lot of fun and I also picked up a couple uh, shirts when I was there so like I said, I stopped there in 2014. I saw a 2014 show, and this is a shirt I got in 2014, just a, for comparison shake, sake. So front, extra large, big uh, hip hop brand here. And the back, X, large, you know the rest. So that was 2014. 2015 is uh, this shirt here, no curse words on the back or nothing, back is just black. But another shirt I got this year, which is pretty sweet, is a King Ghidorah shirt. So the front, you got the King Ghidorah logo. This is their old school logo off their first album. And then on the back, you have King Ghidorah written on the back as well too, as well as the kanji. This kanji is means like darkness, so like shade or shadow. So pretty dope. So that's was my experience seeing King Ghidorah at Summer Bomb um, 2015. I saw some other artists there, like I said, I saw Rhymestar, and I also saw Rhymestar in 2014. So uh, if y'all like this video, let me know, and I'll do another video with some video I took of Rhymestar and maybe a couple other hip-hop artists. All right, so that's it. So catch you later. This is Shampoo. Peace.